Hello everyone, I am the Lore Explorer, and this is Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. And in today's loop, we're gonna do something kind of fun. The developers of the game have recently updated it to add something that everyone has been looking forward to a lot. So in today's loop, we're going to open the real world vault. And not only that, I'm gonna show you how to do it and stay alive so you can come see the prisoner once you do it. To begin, you actually have to go to sleep in the dream world and not die. Once asleep, ride the elevator down to the place below the dream world. Each of the totems below actually do have codes that one can use to get across and turn off the traps, but you really can't find them in the game other than the one that you glitch. But luckily for us, the community for Outer Wilds is ravenous and amazing, and they were actually able to data mine these codes so we can use them in the game and survive. The first code, which I'll be doing numerically to make it easier, is 5, 0, 2, 6, and 5. Now once you input these, the code or the bridges are aligned and you can just walk right across and turn off the totem. The second totem's code is 5, 4, 3, 7, 2. And the third totem's codes are actually kind of codes that you might make if you're being lazy. It's 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, and boom, lights out. And then you do have to, you know, conceal your lantern to get across the bridge, but with this, that's all three seals out, and we can go open the vault in the dream world. This is the new entrance to the vault. They kind of updated it a little bit, but I want to showcase something here. This is me opening the vault, but not going in to talk to the prisoner and telling them everything we know. And then I'm going to extinguish it. And what we find is the prisoner is there, the <gasps> vault's open and everything, but when we look very closely, their lantern, of course, is still lit. But this is going to reveal something later. For now, here's a nice view of the prisoner with their vault open. Next, I want to showcase what happens after the prisoner leaves and we find their vision torch near the lake or whatever you want to call the body of water. One of the new additions they made in this update is they actually added hoof prints all the way from the vault, right down to the vision torch and all the way to the water. So it turns out that we were all right. The prisoner does extinguish their lantern as soon as we free them and they get out of there. It takes a little bit of peeking and finessing, but you can tell, especially with the free cam mode, their lantern's out. So at least they do have some peace. But that's all I have for you right now. I know everyone was really excited to see what may have happened to the prisoner after we had our encounter with them. And once the vault's open, it shows you. Uh, I'm really glad they updated this. I was expecting they would. I was kind of surprised that it didn't happen right away, but it's good they updated it quickly. So thanks to Mobius, thanks to everyone watching, and of course, a special thank you to the members here on the channel. This is the Lore Explorer, diving deep into the lore and sharing it with as many people as possible, because that's what I love.